Hi guys, welcome back. Um, Hua Hin's known for his famous night markets. So tonight I'm going to show you two different markets. We're going to have a look at both. Um, and let's go. Hello. Oh, yeah. No problem for you. I'll get some oysters here. Oysters. Oysters. Whereabouts are they from? Yeah. Local? Hot sugar. What's that one? Hot sugar. Hot sugar. Where's your where's your lobster from? Is yeah. that is that from Vietnam. Phuket? Vietnam. Vietnam. Okay. Well, so there you go. The, the lobster's from Vietnam. I thought it was from Phuket. So there you go. I've learned something new tonight. The scallops are they? Yes, yeah, scallops. With, with garlic sauce. Yeah, garlic sauce. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Where, whereabouts is your lobster from? Vietnam. Vietnam, okay. Cool. So, this is how, much, how much is that a kilo? 1,600. 1,600 a kilo for the lobster. And the prawns, tiger prawns? 1,500. 1,500. And how, how much? Is, so that there, so that's half a kilo there. So that prawn alone is uh, about a thousand baht. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that prawn in there alone was a thousand baht. So it's not really cheap. But it's meant to be good. I'm not, I don't really eat seafood though, so. How, how much are your, um, your bugs? How much are they? How much? Seven hundred baht one kilo. Seven hundred baht one kilo. And your lobster, how much is that? One thousand six hundred baht. One thousand six hundred baht per kilo. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of seafood here and we're in. <laughs> Right, I'm going to go to the bank now, so I'll leave this for a minute and then we're going to have some dinner. I feel like it's a bit of seafood now too, you might have a few bugs. What is this? It's like a Thai dessert, is it? Thai dessert. And it's just peanut. Like a, pe like a peanut, like a pancake. Rice powder. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, we're gonna have some dinner now. Some want some seafood, so we're gonna have some seafood. See what's like. So you got all your fake watches over here. So here we have some um, crab meat with, with curry powder. This one is scallops with garlic butter. So there's some tiger prawns there. I think they're tiger prawns. I think so. Look at that one, that barbecue sauce with some garlic butter there. So the crab meat's very good. It's um, crab meat with curry powder. Very delicious indeed. Uh -huh. I think these scallops have got like a cheese on it. Fucking like garlic butter, I think. But they're very good. That's, it. That's chicken cashew nut. I think that's my favourite Thai dish, chicken cashew, it's very good. Oh, yuck. You're going to eat the tail? Yeah. You like the tail? Yeah, so all that came to was 1100 baht. So it's pretty good actually. So I'm going to go find some sticky rice now. So here we go. So this is the best coconut ice cream. So you realize that Som's not with me tonight because this is shot over two different nights. Last night my battery went dead, so um, I'm going to meet her for dinner later tonight. But I'm, I'm just finishing off filming um, what we were meant to shoot last night. My battery hadn't died. So um, yeah, let's go. Hello, how are you? What about you? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's hot today, right? Very hot today, very hot. Oh, we've got my favourite, mango sticky rice. We've got to get some of this. This is amazing. I think this is the best in Hui Hin. Hello, how are you? Can I get, um, can I get two mango sticky rice? Thanks. So we've got the mango sticky yeah, rice, it's absolutely amazing. So um, if you ever come to Hui Hin, you've got to try that stall. I think it's the best sticky rice I've ever had in my life. So it's Sunday night tonight, so it's packed. A lot of people from Bangkok are here, I'm pretty sure. They probably drove back late tonight. What, what is that? Is that beef, is it? Pork? More beef. Okay. Nah. Is that pork? So you got So here you've got um you've got some pork here and that's your marinated beef. This is a durian. It's um it's a it's a developed taste that it's um it tastes like custard and caramel, but it smells like shit. I'm sure anyone that's watching knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is on every single night in Hua Hin. Um, during the high season, you can't move. It's absolutely packed. So that's the night market. I'm going to take you over to the weekend market now. Um, it's not far away, so we should go over there now. Um, I've got my sticky rice and mango. So we'll take you over there and see what's happening. We're at the Civic Car Markets, which is south of Hua Hin, about five minutes from the town. Um, it's pretty much so it's every Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, and that's all. So um, let's go have a look. See you soon. ขอเลขไปทิ้งสักนิดเดียวพอนะนิดเดียวพอลูกเอ้ยนิดเดียวพอลูกเอ้ยนิดเดียวพอลูกเอ้ยนิดเดียวพอลูกเอ้ยนิ
Okay, so the situation here is that you actually have to get food coupons. So um, you just buy how much you ever think you're going to spend, and whatever you don't spend, you just redeem them at the end of the night. So um, I'll get a hundred baht worth just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Can I get a hundred baht? Thanks. Thank you. So with these food these food vouchers, I actually redeem them with the with the market stalls. Um, they give them back to the owners of this whole situation um, for a, I think they pay 30% commission, I'm not sure. But um, let's have a look at the food. There's really so much food, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it all. There's so many. <laughs> this is actually really nice. I've had this before. It's um, it's mussels prawns. In like a batter with egg. So now she's going to cook some pad thai. Let's have a look. Some serious heat here. If only you can smell this, it's absolutely amazing, really. I'm actually, I'm, I'm really hungry. But I'm not going to eat here, I'm going to eat at a restaurant later. So that's a shrimp pad thai. It's delicious, really. It's so good. Hello. One with pork and one with crab meat. Hot, no? Yeah. And there's more food, don't worry. Over here, I think you've got your curries. It's like a rice soup. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเอ้ยเป็นข้าวแล้วก็เป็น
Yeah, so if you can't find something to hear to eat, something wrong. But um, all right. So I'll show the rest of the markets now. There's also an open air theatre here. Um, we can go listen to music. Can I just quickly film for two seconds? I'm just doing a thing for YouTube. So I think you can hire out bean bags and just lie on the grass, listen to music, have a few drinks, which is a pretty good idea. This is where your bar for the theater is. Um, so you got all your drinks here. The prices. Got nice Coronas, which I feel like a Corona now. But um, I've got to go meet some for dinner. Some of that. I'm always losing my key, so I should get one really. But so I had one before, but Sebastian chewed it. So you've got all that. So there's like a lot of ladies clothing here. There's also some men's clothing, but not that much. And it's very small sizing for Westerners. Um, I find it very extremely hard to like have something that fits me. Um, that's why I normally have to go to Bangkok to buy clothes. Hello. Hello. Uh, How you go? Dub. Oh, must be a performing statue. You'd want to hope, wouldn't you? This is like another theatre in here. I've never been in here, so we'll have a quick look. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's like a theatre. I can. Um, really, you will never have an understanding of how big this place is. Um, I can't get it all on camera, really. It's, it'll take me forever. But if you're ever in Hui Hin, make sure you come here. It's on the south side of Hui Hin, about five minutes out of town. So, this is only, remember, this is only open from Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. The other markets I showed you before are open every single night of the week. So if you're in Hui Hin, make sure you get down here. And uh, we'll see you soon. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Hit subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you soon. Bye.